Cheryl Metal, and Robert part of Creative Tunes. A few years back, we uh, decided to do this event where we would bring DJs, producers, artists up for an interview to uh, get to know them a little better and also uh, have a chance to showcase some of the things that they've been working on. Uh, it was a pretty good successful event at that time, lasted for about a year, and of course, COVID period. So when the opportunity presented itself again, here at Trisis, we decided to give it a try once again, and uh, this is our first for the new year. So I want to thank each and every one of you for showing up, and uh, give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. So we're gonna get right into it. This next uh, person with us was our resident DJ at the original Virtual Beast location. Such an amazing artist and person all around. We're so fortunate to have him here and so fortunate to have you as a part of the team to begin with. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for DJ Accents. Yeah, 
That's my mom actually. We're definitely going to need a bigger point because when we keep buying stuff, we don't learn our lesson each time we keep more. But I hope that Bob will be there. If we keep getting more stuff, I'll put it to me. It's fun to mess around with you. Tell them what your living room looks like. Oh, it's insane. Okay, so also my dad's a big guitar nerd. So he's got like everything. I think he's got everything, but he's also left-handed, but he's the only one that can play the guitar. You're so selfish. You're so selfish. You're really left-handed. I want to play the flying B. Where are you going? Okay, anyways. Um, I'm very passionate. But it's insane. We got amps, we got guitars, we got synthesizers, we got everything. We got like XLR cables everywhere. We got... We just got nothing but synths everywhere. Modes, Junos, Jupiters. Like, it's insane. And he works at home, too, so it's like, there's that. We have equipment everywhere. I'm sure you know, they get to the trouble. There's a lot of people, but it's, but I can't say it's all on my dad. My room is supposed to be equipment, too, so it's not just him. It's my fault, too. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to get started. 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 We're going to how has that experience kind of grown since then? As you're doing what you're doing. Uh, for the first time, I really have to uh, give thanks to my mother, my mom here, because she's the one who like spams everyone's inboxes to get me to play with And I've seen it, it's true, it's not wrong. She spams everyone. She's like, I'm thinking of texting him again today because they haven't responded. I'm like, I couldn't. I'm too awkward for all that. So she, she, so thank you to my mom for that. And she was really pushing me to play all these places that I didn't really play at. Um, but yeah, since then, we were just like doing backyard parties and stuff. And for mostly, it was just like backyard, backyard parties, playing like, movie yeah, apps, like bringing home, like dance music here and there. Uh, you know, playing all the times, but obviously, like my main time, it was just like playing on the really So I was really sweet off to introduce a lot of the new things that are
very also into uh, right now getting uh, into the game. I'm starting to get thinking about the game from the last time I was here. Maybe go back into like, my old tapes or what I was listening to. So I'm like, now I'm making, I'm making like 50 different genres, but it's fun. I like doing that. Yeah, this has been, been very crazy. The concert at this uh, end of the loose uh, EP on uh, Friday, of Jan uh, January 26th, which is what they're playing in the background right there, which is a little fun one. Fun fact on the title track of my EP Simulation Transfer, the song Simulation Transfer, I wrote the whole song while watching the movie Good Burger. Oh, wow. you know where the inspiration from? <coughs> totally from Good Burger. That's where I wrote that whole song during my which is a really fun one. Especially since that song is so chaotic, just like the movies. The new one or the original from? The, the original. Oh, yeah. Do you know the better one? The original? Yeah. Uh, okay, random question. Yes. Okay, uh, favorite food is a I don't have a favorite food, but I do have favorite dishes, oh, like different types. Yeah. Um, mess with sushi heavy, heavy, mess with steak a lot. Steak is good. Baby, I love baby. Yes. <laughs> when we go to the that would be the main thing on my plate is baby. I don't know why I don't get about it, no. And um, one last thing, because I don't think my 50 years. Page list. Um, putting mozzarella cheese, like 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 sprinkling cheese on top of a tortilla pizza. Go there. Go there. Why you need to know about that? Okay, so outside of music, uh, is there a particular subject of yours in school? Mm. Right now, chemistry, because it's been the most fun. Because it's a lot of like chemical reactions and bonds and stuff like that. So that's fun. No, but history on ramps. I tell you what, I love reading. Uh, I love reading all the stories. It's so, I love history the most in school. It's been my favorite subject, especially since all my teachers are history. They've been so weird and fun. Yeah, they made me fall in love with uh, history, for sure. The teachers more than the actual subjects. But also, I want to say history because my dad would always watch history documentaries and at first I'd always think they're lame and then out of nowhere I get stuck into it and that's what I'm sorry about. See, so it all comes back to him. It's all his fault. It's all his fault. I called it. So, uh, I'm not saying that you're, you're not the only child. How many of you have I have one cool, and then I'll give you that. I'll give you one cool sister. <laughs>